Hi, this is Sam Clive from Integrity. Thank you all very much for joining on this webinar. Um, today we're planning to cover off our social media analytics solution for the IBM i2 software stack. So I'm from an organization called Integrity. We've been a business partner of IBM's now for around 15 or 16 years. And we've been very involved in the last couple of years within the i2 world. And what this has led us to do is create a solution that complements the IBM i2 software stack, um, specifically around the social media capture and control um, capabilities. So today we plan on taking you through the ability to uh, bring social data into the i2 platform, the type of functionality that's available through our solution, and also the, uh, the features and functions of that as well. It's uh, my great pleasure to actually introduce um, Matt Neeson from IBM onto uh, this call as well. So he'll be interjecting as the call and webinar takes place to provide some valuable uh, insights into the industry that he has been a part of for a number of years. So over to yourself, Matt. Thanks, everybody, and uh, we appreciate all joining today from the four corners of the globe. Um, it will be my pleasure to uh, make some commentary as the uh, session goes on regarding practical uses and functions of the tools that Integrity has done such a fantastic job of marrying to the nearly 400,000 user licenses of the i2 analyst notebook in the world. You're going to learn a lot today, so uh, sit back, relax, take some notes, and uh, welcome to the uh, to, to an even smarter and safer planet. Excellent. Thank you very much, Matt. Um, so if anyone has any questions throughout this webinar, then please feel free to use the chat function um, in the actual uh, WebEx facility itself, and we'll look to do a Q&A session towards the end. But to start off with, I thought I'd go through some of the current issues relating to social media and the i2 software stack. So currently there are multiple channels of communication. So we've got things such as the, the uh, bog standard social sites, so Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we've got wider web, web uh, pages, forums, blogs, wikis. There's a hell of a lot of data out there and being able to bring all of that into a central place provides, uh, proves to be very challenging. And with all of that, all of those communication channels, the sheer volume of data being posted out online, it does make for a challenging environment to be able to actually understand and actually bring actionable intelligence to that information as well. A lot of organizations are uh, dealing with social media at the moment in a very manual way. So they are currently extracting data onto spreadsheets uh, completely manually and looking to upload that into the solution. So it's very um, time consuming and very, um, uh, very difficult to actually get all of this information in in an efficient manner. There's no real straight through in, uh, integration into the I2 world. So a lot of it relies on multiple clients to actually uh, move data across. And quite often that leads to multiple loops of manual investigation needed. So a lot of the time the, uh, the integration, um, the actual getting data and building out a network is very slow to action. And um, all of that leads to a time to action intelligence is far slower than what the actual social world moves at. So content is constantly being posted online and not being able to keep up with that in real time is a real challenge for investigators. There's also an issue where there's, uh, there's no real way to start from a single entity and expand out from that way. Quite often when we're dealing with open source intelligence, will be provided with a massive lump of data and then we have to try and find the intelligence, the, uh, the actual intelligent information from within that. What we've been able to do is uh, provide that platform where a single entity can be used to then expand upon and uh, grow the solution. So to introduce our solution called uh, Knowledge Capture SMC4, this solution is a single platform that has been seamlessly integrated into IBM's i2 Analyst Notebook. So we have developed a plugin using the official SDKs so that all of this technology, all of these features and functions is available from within a single client. So it's a single capture tool, so it brings all communications, uh, all channels of data into a central platform. So we capture the social channels, emails, some of the wider web data as well and structure that in a format that uh, i2 actually uh, agrees with 
and can utilise very quickly and efficiently. We also provide a uh, candidate store separate to um, the i2 intelligence uh, platform stores and what we are able to do with that is store that data either in the cloud model so it's instantly available or it can be used via a hybrid solution or even deployed on-premise as well. And all of the content that is brought into the system is actually analysed as well. So we do some content analytics to start to understand categorization, classification of this information in order to bring uh, additional value and additional insights to this data before an analyst has even had the chance to, uh, to actually utilise it within AMB. Finally, this plugin is very much compatible with older versions of Analyst Notebook, both Analyst Notebook uh, standard and the premium edition. So if you have existing customers that you potentially are looking to upgrade or you have legacy customers that you're looking to bring new value and new insights to, we have the capabilities to help you out on both of those scenarios. To explain the actual data flow for um, the SMC4 plugin, in the top left we have the uh, elements in blue which is very much the parts that integrity bring to the table. So this is where we capture this data, run some analytics on all of the content, we can categorize messages as risks, we understand prioritizations of these messages, and then we also store all of this data in what we call the SMC4 candidate store. So this data gets stored for 30 days where your analyst can then interact with that information, uh, bring that back onto charts and then actually um, make intelligence from that information. What we've then created is the plugin that sits within inside Analyst Notebook and this enables a two-way communication both back to the SMC4 object store but also back onto the social sites themselves. So we make direct API calls to uh, Twitter, Facebook for example to bring new content in real time back onto a chart. The final phase of this integration is the ability to actually save this alongside any existing intelligence and intelligence um, repositories that you may already have. So we've made it as easy as possible to upload this data in an intelligence friendly format through to both uh, IBM i2 Analyze, i2 iBase and the EIA platform as well. And within this you can then uh, structure this data and apply any retention rules as you would normal intelligence from any other sources. So this plugin is very much about bringing value add to your existing infrastructure and also bringing value add to new customers as well. So to start off with, I just want to take you through the process to actually get set up and using this, uh, this particular plugin. So if you're an IBM or on the call, you may already have been using this particular plugin. You may be, uh, may be interested in getting on board with it as well. And also if you're a potential partner, then we can also help you get set up as well to use this plugin um, on the day to day and actually demonstrate this to potential clients as well. So it is very easy to actually get set up and using um, our social media plugin. You can go to the following link, so smcapture.com forward slash i2 forward slash analyst hyphen notebook. And from there, you're able to download a small plugin. It's about 25 meg. And what this will do is if you already own the IBM i2 Analyst Notebook and it's already installed locally, this will connect the plugin into that uh, notebook instance automatically. The final step is to create an SMC4 account, which takes no more than five minutes to actually uh, go onto the browser, connect up and load in a couple of social accounts. And then you can start using it. So all in all, the process takes around five minutes to get set up. That's if you have Analyst Notebook installed already, but if not, here at Integrity, we can help you get set up with Analyst Notebook as well. So if you do go onto that web page, this is briefly what it, will, uh, what it will look like for yourselves. So all you have to do is literally download the, uh, the plugin itself from the green button on this particular web page. This web page also includes uh, a demonstration video uh, similar to what we'll be going over today and the onboarding guide, uh, basically walking you through the entire process to make sure there's, uh, there's no issues. But if you do have any questions or anything like that, then uh, you can always reach out to myself and I can be available for, uh, to sort of walk you through the process of getting set up as well. So I'm going to ditch the slides and I'm going to jump into the product and actually show you some of the features and functions of it. So over the next few minutes, I've got around five or so demonstrations just to show you the additional value, the, uh, the type of functionality that you can uh, do from within the plugin itself. And again, as we run through this, 
Um, if you have any questions, anything that hasn't been explained clearly to yourselves, please feel free to use the chat function and we'll look to answer those questions towards the end of this particular call. So to start off with, I'm going to jump into Analyst Notebook and just explain where you can actually look to find the actual plugin itself. So to start off with, I'm using Analyst Notebook Premium here. And within this particular version, under the Connect option, we now have the SMC4 tab. So this is where the plugin resides for all users. And the first thing I'll take you through is the ability to search for content SMC4 has already been capturing. So the service that SMC4 is, it basically enables you to monitor accounts of interest and crawl that data if it's publicly available and bring that into a central system. So this crawling process, SMC4, currently sits within the cloud and you can connect to this option and it will crawl data 24 seven. So no longer do you need to have a workstation up and running all the time in order to capture this data. This process will constantly happen even if you're not using Analyst Notebook, even if you're not logged into the service. So the first thing I'll take you through is the ability to do a post search. So this is all within a, a central, uh, central view in Analyst Notebook, um, in this case, Analyst Notebook. And what we are able to do is either filter down by a social uh, channel. We also have the ability to photo, uh, filter down by a particular category as well. So this is where we start to classify data as it's coming into the system. We can prioritize based on uh, pretty much anything. So complaints, claims, threatening messages, terrorist related activity. If you have a specific customer in any industry, we've probably come across that before. But if not, we can always work with yourselves to build custom content analytics in order to bring new value to the data organizations are capturing. We can also filter down by a particular date range as well. So if you want to focus on a very uh, certain date of when information came into the system, you're able to do that. And we can also look at certain social accounts as well. So if you're only interested in finding out what information has been posted to and posted from certain social media accounts, we can bring that back onto the system. So once all of this loads, what we can look to do is either filter down by name or the actual content itself. So if I just run a filter, you can see it works in real time. It will start to understand who's actually uh, been posting this particular content. So just to guide you through this screen, on the left hand side, we get the account name as to where this information has come from. We get the social site it's been posted to as well. So in this case, it's a tweet. And by clicking on the Twitter icon, we also get a bit more information about that account as well. So in this case, it's from Hampshire Police. We get the profile picture, a link back onto the social site itself to verify this account and the actual content that's contained within this particular message. Everything is also date and time stamped which I'll uh, explain a bit more on later on. But this information basically means that you can understand when people have interacted with it and, and what time they've actually interacted as well. And the content as well is also collected. So as I add this selected message to the chart, this will automatically build everything out as a uh, link and a um, entity. So we have social media uh, messages as particular entities, and we also have social media accounts as well. We've also got um, information, uh, we've also built in specialist link types as well into this particular solution. So that when you actually load these, uh, this content onto the chart automatically, it basically means that you have the ability to, to see how these entities are linked together. So we have individual link types such as replied, sent from, sent to, retweeted by. So you can get, start to get a picture of how people have actually interacted with this particular content. So now this message is back on the chart, I have the ability here to right click on this particular uh, message entity and I have the SMC4 option here in the drop down view. So I can take a number of different actions here and this is all real time and this will be me going back out onto the social site itself. So what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to look to see how many people have retweeted this particular message. So on Twitter itself, a retweet is basically publishing that particular message onto your own social channel onto your own social page. And quite often, if say it's a threatening related message, um, you'll want to understand how people have actually interacted with this particular message, who the key players are, um, and how, how many people have actually interacted with it as well. So as the chart automatically builds out and we see this blossom out, all this is 
Uh, what this has done is basically gone back onto the social site, in this case Twitter, and look for all of the accounts that have interacted with this message. And we can see here that it's brought back quite a few entities um, onto the particular chart. So using some of Analyst Notebook's capabilities, we also have the ability to um, arrange this slightly differently, give us a slightly better view to see how many actual accounts are on, the, on this particular chart. And we can see here at the very bottom, we have the actual first message and then all those accounts that are associated with it. But one great thing and some additional value about this particular um, scenario is all of these links uh, contain a time and date stamp as well. So what I have the ability to do is some of the core uh, functionality within Analyst Notebook is to be able to copy this to a timeline chart. So I've selected all of these messages and what I look to do is copy this to a new timeline chart with connections. What this will then uh, do for myself automatically is build out this chart in a slightly different view and if I just change the uh, arrangement here just to show you um, the slightly better view for yourself so I'm going to group it by time. As I zoom into this particular chart what we can see is the original message on the left hand side um, where it's actually been posted and then all of the basically when all of these retweets actually happened. So we see clusters of information as to when this message was particularly interacted with. And as we go through, we can see exactly who's actually interacted with this particular message and at what time frame. So we can start to understand when it may have been published back onto social sites, when it may have appeared, started to appear on other people's timelines um, in a social environment. So at this point, I'm just going to uh, interject with, um, or pass over to Matt just to explain a few more industry benefits around the use of timeline charts as well. Thanks, Sam. Um, one of the things that I would definitely want to point out here is that Sam is demonstrating how you could take social media information and drop it into an I2 analyst's notebook chart. What you can add to this, though, is other information that you have from inside your four walls or from other data sources and overlay on top of this data. So, for example, in Sam's chart, it points out that on Friday, the 25th of March, 2016, we had perhaps some retweets, other friends, other followers um, show up. But if we also had telephone data that was extracted ethically, uh, we could be dropping that into the chart. If we had license plate reader information from our parking garage, if we had the parking pass information, um, uh, or even the card reader information uh, for your building access cards, uh, that also would be brought in. For that matter, even loyalty card information, if, for example, you were a retailer, one of the things that you might choose to do is look at how your shoppers have actually interacted with you um, and how their loyalty card interacted, how their social media posts interacted in a timeline scenario. So it's not just finding bad guys, but it can be used for finding good guys too. So all the capabilities that you're used to seeing in an I2 visual analysis world can now be brought together with the social media world thanks to this plugin that the folks at Integrity have done just such a wonderful job of doing. Back to you, Sam. Excellent. Thank you very much, Matt. So uh, this very first example was how we could uh, look for content that's um, already been captured by uh, SMC4 and available via the plugin. What we also have the ability to do is if you start with a single account, you can also look to expand on the content that SMC4 has been capturing. So this particular example is a Facebook account that we've been monitoring for about a week now. And what I can look to do here is right click on this account entity this time and look to expand. So the first thing I'm going to do is expand on posts. I then have the ability again to filter some of this data should I want to. So I can choose a date range and again the categorizations of these messages. But in this particular example, I'm just going to add all posts. So while this is actually building out this chart for me, if I just explain what this is doing. So this is linking back into the SMC4 object store. And in this particular example, I've asked it to bring back the previous 10 conversations. So when we say a conversation in this particular example, it's a post that this particular Facebook account has posted out onto the social channel. But alongside that, it also captures all of the replies, comments, and associated data, such as the accounts that have made those replies and comments, 
and brings all of that information back onto a central chart as well. So all of this information will be built out automatically onto this particular chart. So just as it's doing this, it's capturing all of the accounts information and as it's brought back quite a bit of data, it just wants me to ask if uh, I should run this layout. And I absolutely do, just to show you the amount of content that this will bring back very quickly. So as this chart expands, what we see in the middle, the highlighted uh, entity here is the actual account itself. And on this particular chart, we've brought back 10 different conversation streams. And if I just zoom into the bloom on the, uh, the right hand side, we can see one particular message seems to have garnered a whole lot of activity on this particular example. So what this will do is bring back all of the replies, all of the comments on these particular messages. And on towards the outside of this particular circle, you can also see uh, the accounts that have been involved as well with this particular uh, messages. So in this particular example, we've got this account here on the right hand side. There's actually commented twice. So when an account is brought back onto the chart and it uh, the, the plugin itself will basically identify if there's duplicate accounts or duplicate entities and automatically build those links out. So no longer do you have to sift through all of this data to try and find if, say, one account is posting multiple times. This content will automatically uh, be linked to those social accounts. And for example, if this particular account has said something I'm particularly interested in, I can right click on any of these accounts and choose to monitor this account. What this will mean is that any content that this account then starts posting publicly, SMC4 will crawl and pull that data back into the plugin. So again, if you then choose to uh, expand on this particular account further down the line, you'll have all of that data that it's been capturing from that day that you imported it into the plugin itself. So what you can do here is very easily start with, say, a single entity, a single account, expand to a, a large amount of data very rapidly and find those key players in that information and again kick off that crawling process for those new entities, those new individuals. So it's very easy to understand who, who these people are and how they're connected along with um, how they're actually interacting with groups online. So the next way we can actually interact with um, uh, these messages is the ability, or these accounts I should say, is the ability to actually search for um, accounts from within the plugin itself as well. So if I go back to the connect tab on the home bit, we go to the SMC4 option, we have this search and we have the social account search option. So what this enables analysts to do is instead of going back out onto a browser, onto a different client, from within a single client is to be able to search across social sites for a particular account. So in this example, I'm going to search for myself. And what this will do is bring back a list of results that are all somewhat related to the name Sam Clive. So as we can see, as we scroll down, uh, the names start to get slightly more distant from Sam Clive. So we've got some, a few Clive Samuels. And what I can look to do here is filter this information either by social rank, similarity of name, IDs, for example. And we are aware that on uh, social media, people might not often not use their real name. However, if you have an understanding of what their handle is, I can also type that into the search bar as well. So what I can look to do is if I understand particularly what their handle is, can run a search for that and it will bring back the relevant results. So as I'm the only S Clive 4 in the world, it brings back my particular account. We get profile information, a link back to the social site as well so we can validate this particular message. And again, from within this view, I can kick off that monitoring process. So if I now add this to the chart, it will tell me that the account's been added for crawling, so any public content I now start posting will be captured by this solution. What I can then start to do is I can search for other individuals as well. So I can look to see how uh, people are actually connected to each other. Um, so it's not just relying on one particular account, I can add multiples to a particular chart. So again, I've just searched for a colleague of mine, Dean Oxley, and again, monitored that account and loaded them onto the chart behind this uh, particular box. So if I start out with these two accounts, maybe I want to try and understand how they're actually connected um, on the social world. So what I can do with an account entity on Twitter is go down to the SMC4 option by right clicking and I can run an expansion. This will then let me expand on the friends of this particular account. And again, what this will do is in real time, 
is going back out onto the social site to collect this information and bring it back onto a chart. In this particular example, I've asked it to bring back the previous 100 accounts that this account is associated to. We do have the capabilities to bring back over 3,000 accounts per call per 15 minutes, which again means you can start from a single entity and expand on that data very rapidly and very quickly. What we can see here is the account that I originally brought back onto the chart as well is still actually separate from this particular um, from this particular engagement. So what we can see at the moment is uh, Sam Clive and Dean Oxley aren't currently connected, so they're not direct connections. But what I want to try and find out is how these accounts could be connected online. So what I have the ability to do is on this account again is go to the SMC4 option, and this time if I go down to View. This is more of a traditional filtered expand in the i2 world. So if I click on friends, this will then provide me with a pop up box and will start to um, populate a list of friends associated to Dean Oxy's account. So I can scroll through this list. I can choose to add one or multiple accounts. In this particular example, I'm just going to add all to the chart and see what we can find. So as this chart builds out in the background, what this will enable me to do is view the actual common connections in the middle of the chart. So again, the SMC4 plugin has automatically made the connection and understood that these four accounts in the middle is what commonly connects these individuals to a, uh, uh, together on social media. What I can now do is pick out any one of these accounts and I can look to do exactly the same on them. So I say, Maybe I want to understand if there's any more connections connecting these three people together. And again, what that will do is build out this information, any common connections that it can find, it will start to display them on this particular chart. So what we can now see is three big clusters with a number of accounts in the middle of each of these uh, accounts as well. But what's a great way to actually uh, take this information and make it valuable to um, your particular manager, um, a person of particular interest um, within your organization in order to give them the high level view of how people are connected. So in this particular example chart that I've uh, built out, I've used the same three people, but what I've actually done in this example is expanded on quite literally all of their connections. So if I just go to the view all option and show all, we can see just a sheer amount of entities that are now available on this chart. So again, what this enables me to do is see a large quantity of information. I've used some conditional formatting to highlight the accounts that are linked to two of these particular accounts I'm interested in. And I've also uh, used the purple links to show who's actually connected to all three social, uh, social accounts. What I can also do from this phase, is if I select an account on the left hand side here and one on the right hand side, I can use i2's built in capabilities to find a path, so find how they're, how they're connected. What this will then enable me to do is understand the degrees of separation. And what I can do then is copy these to a new chart and provide this as a high level uh, overview to a manager, for example, in order for them to understand the key players in connecting these individuals together. So as this chart copies across, what this will do is bring back the uh, the key entity. So we can see we've actually got so two degrees of separation here, where we've got an account here, the individual accounts in the middle that we're particularly interested in, an account on the right hand side. So again, it's another another very easy and quick way to actually uh, provide information back to uh, the rest of your organisation and provide uh, the ability to understand how people are linked on social media, even though these two accounts originally weren't connected to each other. So um, to, to finish off on the demonstrations within uh, Analyst Notebook itself, I just want to show you some of the additional functionality that you can find within the plugin. So if I just open up a new chart and go to the connect option, we also have the ability to look at the list of monitored accounts within the system as well. So the uh, this list provides all of the accounts that are currently uh, already in the system, already monitoring, already calling data back. Anytime you can manage this list from within this view. So if you want to remove certain accounts, so if I just go down to myself, I'm going to remove that account. I'm going to stop the crawling process. It's no longer needed. 
I can then remove that from the system there. We also have the ability to filter. So if you have large amounts of information on the on uh, currently being captured by SMC4, you can drill down to the very specific channels you're looking for. Within the settings options, we also have the ability to uh, um, basically define how much content you want brought back per query. So the very top one, maximum number of conversations to return. Currently I've got that set to 10, but we can actually bring back up to a thousand different conversations. That will then bring back all replies, comments on that information as well. So again, very rapidly and efficiently, you can bring a lot of content back into Analyst Notebook. And we also have the ability to filter down on the amount of friends or followers to return. So we can uh, bring back up to 3,000 accounts per call. And again, popular Twitter accounts, you'll often find um, a, a few thousand accounts that are actually following uh, individual accounts. So again, you can start to see the full picture very quickly. An additional value add of our particular plugin, we, do, we are aware of um, the ever-changing social media world. So the team here at Integrity is dedicated to be on the forefront of that, uh, of that world. So as new enhancements, new social channels become available, we strive to actually be at the cutting edge of that and we'll be releasing updates to this plugin as and when they are needed. So from within this view, you can also check for updates. You can make sure you're on the latest version and you can make use of the, uh, the capabilities of this particular plugin and the latest enhancements we make without necessarily having to uh, go back onto our website and download a new version. You can do it all from within the central client that is Analyst Notebook. So I'm just going to jump back into the slide deck and just give you um, an overview about a few more details of this particular plugin and uh, about Integrity ourselves. So just to cover off what you just saw, we have the ability to search across um, the SMC4 object store. So what this enables you to, to have is a single client view for all uh, open source intelligence data. All those sources brought into a central client, which is still Analyst Notebook. It also means that the time to actionable intelligence is minimal. The SMC4 service will continually crawling um, behind the scenes uh, from within the cloud until you tell it to stop. So there's no longer a need for you to be sat at your workstation while data is collected. All of this can happen behind the scenes um, while, uh, whilst you get on with other actionable tasks. You also have the ability to expand on the conversations as well. So expand on the messages, see who's actually replied and actually visualize them all within a single chart. Again, this enables you to bring back a large amount of data onto a chart very quickly. And you can also, it makes it very easy to find key players, uh, key individuals, key accounts very quickly by understanding who the actual key players are within the system. You can also search for new accounts across the social channels as well. So there's no, not, no longer the need to go out onto, uh, onto the browser, have multiple tabs open across social sites. We have the ability to search for all of this new content from within the plugin. And finally, that also expands onto the conversations where, uh, onto the connection, sorry, where we can start to understand how people are connected. There's no need to start exporting this data into spreadsheets. Um, and visualizing it and analyzing it manually, it's all done automatically. So connections are automatically built out on this particular chart uh, using the plugin. And finally, the very additional um, uh, functionality and capabilities here. Uh, so it's always crawling, it's always bringing data back. We can view all of, all of the content currently being uh, captured along with all of the accounts. We can also manage all of that information from within that central platform. So it's very easy in order to actually use just Analyst Notebook. So there's no additional training, no additional um, clients that are needed to be installed on your workstations. Analyst can be set up and raring to go very quickly indeed. So to give you an idea about the, uh, the pricing model, what Integrity can help you with is basically the entire end-to-end -end solution or certain parts of that solution. So Integrity are a um, support value provider for the entire IBM soft, uh, Safer Planet software stack. So if you have a customer that is brand new to the IT world, 
we can help sell uh, core licenses, whether they are just analyst notebook licenses or I2 Analyze, EIA or iBase licenses as well. So the first thing a customer will need is analyst notebook. And what we then do is provide SMC4 as a service basically. So SMC4 is charged at $75 per user per month. And what this gets you is the ability to upload up to 50 social media accounts into the system. So that's 50 concurrent accounts. You ha then have the ability to manage those accounts to make sure you're under that limit. And again, you can also buy packs of 50 accounts um, for that uh, 75 per user per month price as well. So if you have a low number of analysts that are looking to analyze a high number of accounts, we can accommodate for you that way as well. Some additional value that we can also bring is the ability to push all of this data into a case management capability as well. So if you want a structured business process behind the scenes where uh, you need a case manager involved, we can also integrate all of this data with that as well. And we also have the capabilities to expand our capabilities across social, social channels and across the wider web. So we have an additional module called the SMC for Social Listener module, and this provides capabilities to search across based on queries through to blogs, forums, wikis, and all of the social sites as well. So this enables you to search across historical data, trending data, and bring all of that again into a central platform. That's typically priced as an additional service, along with the capabilities to um, purchase uh, other options such as geolocation capabilities, where any geolocation data that's currently contained within um, the messages being captured and content being posted, and also the historical listener option. So we can connect into, um, say, for example, Twitter's historical feed and provide that information back to you, again, through this central platform. But it, that is typically based on a case-by-case -case basis, and we'll be happy to work with you to um, actually uh, get that view uh, or get those deals working for yourselves. So to explain some of the, uh, the key wins and the key information that we've um, uh, gone through in the past, uh, six or eight months. We've won a contract with a UK defence contractor where they're using SMC4 and the plugin to understand insider threat. So they're uh, basically monitoring inappropriate uh, content that's being posted online, uh, particularly over LinkedIn, where individuals are currently posting information about projects uh, that they are working on and potentially revealing quite sensitive information. So they're naming and shaming uh, project codes, project names, and also individuals that they've been working on. And what this uh, means is potentially when they travel, uh, they are intercepted by rival organizations, rival countries, and are often try to, bribe, try to be bribed in order to uh, provide further information on these top secret projects that they're actually working on. We've also won a major contract with a uh, US Sporting Entertainment League. Um, what they're currently looking at is the monitoring of uh, players' social media content. So in most sports leagues, there are very strict rules around um, what content players are allowed to, able to post online. So for example, talking about officiating, um, rules of the game, contracts, for example, and of course, things such as foul language, threats, criminal activity is all uh, something that this particular league needs to be aware of. And they also have the functionality to review when posts are deleted, so when tweets are deleted online. So what this enables um, them to be able to understand is if someone has posted a message in, let's say, the heat of the moment directly after a game and then removed it, they're able to understand what they particularly posted. So in, the, in this particular world, uh, things go viral very quickly. And this particular league needs to make sure that they're actually um, on top of this uh, if and when something negative does be, uh, is posted by a particular player. In this particular example, they did actually have some I2 uh, analyst notebook licenses, but it wasn't really being utilized. So it turned into shelfware for this particular organization. However, with the plugin, they've been able to re rejuvenate um, the licenses they already have, and they're potentially looking at expanding their I2 platform um, moving forward as well. So how can Integrity help yourselves? So we can provide pre-sales pre assistance, so whether that be demonstrations similar to the ones you've seen today, proposals, responses to RFPs, um, we are happy to assist you in any way possible. 
We can also provide you with trial instances of SMC4 and the plugin itself as well. So if you have a particular demonstration or particular customers in mind that you'd like to show this to, um, we can help work with yourself and get you set up using the solution. And we can also provide partner training and education assistance as well via WebEx or uh, on-site um, uh, sessions as well to help you guys get set up and uh, comfortable with this particular solution. We can also, again, provide marketing collateral, so whether it be brochures, presentations, or videos, again, we can provide all of that back out to yourselves. And with this conference, uh, with this webinar, I should say, we're also uh, recording it and we'll be publishing it online as well um, for yourselves to uh, send to customers and also for value add later in the future. So f very finally, um, how to get in contact with us. In this particular example, if you're a partner, you can contact Courtney James, she's our channel manager, um, or you can come through to myself, which is samclive uh, at integrity.com, and I can be available for any uh, IT related questions as well. So at this stage, um, I've had a few questions come through via email, um, so I'm just going to run through a couple of those. So um, the very first one is how long does it take to accumulate data? So the data process of actually accumulating is uh, from the word go, from the, the moment you actually load an account into the system for monitoring, data is actually being collected. So obviously the more popular a social account, the more data you're going to capture. However, from that moment you say you want to monitor that particular account, data will start to be captured um, and available for you to actually be, um, uh, for you to analyze within the client itself. We've also had a question about how many data sources. So the, uh, what we can look to do is capture the big social channels as well. So um, what we can look to bring back is content from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus and LinkedIn. We can also connect to email systems as well. And we also have the ability via the SMC4 social listener platform to uh, connect to wider forums, blogs and wikis and bring all of that information into this central platform. As I said earlier on, we are typically at the cutting edge of um, social media here at Integrity and what we'll look to do is as and when new social platforms, new social channels become apparent, when customers needs arise, we can look to load those social channels into the system as well. So what we can, uh, what we can do is be very, respons uh, very flexible and responsive to the actual wider changing or the ever changing social platform and we can uh, bring new value and new insights into this, uh, into this plugin. So um, a common, commonly asked question as well um, about our plugin is what about data protection, data collection rules? So all of the content that the SMC4 plugin captures is publicly available. So all SMC4 is doing is capturing this public content and bringing that into a central platform. So as I said earlier, it goes across multiple communication channels, multiple sources, and brings all of that information into a central system. So we don't collect any private data. We're not um, looking to break any terms and conditions with the actual social channels itself. We're just trying to make it as easy as possible to view this data, analyze this data, and make use of this information as well. Hopefully what you've seen as well throughout the demonstrations is we use a mix of um, data from real-time queries, so going back onto social sites um, where uh, we are making direct API calls to bring back connections, retweet information, um, but we're also looking to, we also connect to the SMC4 object store as well. So that service can be available as a cloud-based solution, and that's what you can connect to um, when you're trialing this as well, or we can deploy it as a hybrid solution where we have analyst notebook um, deployed locally with SMC4 in the cloud. Or if you have a customer that is uh, adamant that no infrastructure can be outside their environment, we can also deploy that completely on premise as well. So there are no issues as far as we're concerned about where we deploy it. We've had great success with the cloud model and also the hybrid model uh, so far. The vi final thing I will say is the enablement time. It's incredibly quick in order to actually start using this plugin. So if you have Analyst Notebook installed already, it's simply a case of visiting the web link that I showed earlier um, and actually downloading the plugin itself. 
And what this will enable you to do is get set up and running and actually use content um, from within the social platform very quickly and easy. It literally takes five minutes to sign up to SMC4 and you can start using it straight away. So before I uh, end this conference, I'm just going to uh, ask to see if Matt has any other, um, any other comments or uh, interjections um, before we actually close this call off. But I very much appreciate all of your time today. And uh, again, feel free to reach out if you do have any questions or any comments, and I can be available to help yourselves. Thanks, Sam. And I uh, think you did a fantastic job summarizing a, a whole lot of capability, a huge investment on the part of integrity. Uh, to build this connector. I do want to emphasize that if uh, you are working with Analyst Notebook version 8.9, uh, which goes back, uh, the 8.9 series goes back about two years, maybe three, maybe three. Um, anything 8.9 or later will work with this plugin. Sam did show the uh, interface from the latest and greatest version of Analyst Notebook version 9.0. And uh, but feel free to uh, experiment with all of the above. Matt and I appreciate your um, your input on this particular webinar um, and as Matt said we're always looking for new partners um, we're always looking to bring new value and new insights not only to your existing customers but to new customers as well so um, I'll sign off for now but again if you do have any questions then please feel free to get in contact thank you all very much for your time and I'll no doubt speak to you very soon cheers now <laughs>